Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We went all night with zero accidents. We did. We got a little whiny around 11 p.m. Yeah, and then about 3.30, we needed to get up and go potty. And then I threw her on the bed and she slept with us the rest of the night. Yep. She is doing awesome. So she now is. we are going to head to the park. We are going to let her run wild and free. And we are going to do some work. Work. And we're going to get a little exercise ourselves. And then we're going to exercise. So with that, don't forget every monday through friday we are doing a black and camo boot camp on our happy healthy fun page yes. and you can always join us or it's going to be on our youtube channel just like this is now so with that let's go parking let's get to going Come on, baby. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Come on. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Huh? Good girl. So what happened? Somebody got tired of walking. She made it about 25 <laughs> minutes. And, and then, then she was a little extra whiny as she jumped on my leg and was like, mom, mom, pick me up. So now she's getting carried. She's spoiled. Bougie. Bougie. All right, guys. So we just finished our workout outside for our black and camo boot camp. And we left Journey inside, just put her in her little crate, and she is not happy. She's been very sad and upset and crying and just throwing the biggest fit you could ever possibly imagine. So we're giving her some love and letting her kind of play around and let her know that it's okay, that we're not going to leave her, and she's going to be just fine. I think she's just going through a lot of a lot of feelings right now. So, aren't you? As Tanya gets Journey settled in, we are going to make some lunch. Today we're going to have some yellow potatoes, some onion, some eggs, some Brussels sprouts, and a couple of cheeseburgers. And that is going to be our first meal today. And I'm hungry. a long hard nap from our pretty new little girl she was just eating and now she's coming out ferocious huh you're coming out like crazy ain't you 
What are you up to? Did you find a toy? Did you find a toy? We're trying to get her used to the kennel as she has been fighting it, crying a little bit when she's in it. It's just a matter of us getting her used to it. So we started by putting her food in there, closing the door a little bit, just to kind of start getting that feel for it. And Tanya is doing what? I am doing some graphic design stuff. So um, that's what I'm up to right now. Even though the world's on quarantine, the show must go on, and we'll continue to bring you along with us. What are you doing? Do you think you can get up here? I think you're too small. Huh? I think you're too small. I don't think you can get up there yet. She's like, watch this. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> All right, so as Dustin starts to make us some dinner, din din. we decided to see how Journey likes vegetables. Let's take a look. What do you got there? <laughs> so we gave her some carrots, and it appears that she likes them. Is that yummy? You like yourself some carrots? Starting them off young with some healthy living and getting their vegetables in. I think she's gonna be okay. All right, guys. How about you? It's been a day. It has been a day. It's been a really good day. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we did a whole lot, but I think for the most part, it was just us getting to, us getting adjusted with her, her getting adjusted with us, learning new routines. Um, so who is her? So we've had some questions about what kind of breed that Journey is, and she is 100% a cattle dog. Um, her mom was a healer. We don't know what she was mixed with. She looked like she might have been mixed with part husky. She had some really, really beautiful light blue eyes and a tail that looked kind of like a husky. Um, so we're not 100% certain, but we think, we know for certain she is a blue healer with possibly some husky in lab. Yeah. Um, by the hundred percent, she means we know for sure that she has some blue healer in her mm. as her mother is definitely a blue healer. Yes. Um, we do mm. not know who the father is as we did rescue her mm -hmm. from a rescue that rescued her from somewhere else. And I know right. that's like a lot of rescuing going on, <laughs> but they went and got all the entire mom and all the litter, um, from a place, you know, we're not going to get into all that, but then we obviously got her from yep. them. Yep, we now, her and... we are actually, what is it called? Long-term foster parents at the moment because mm -hmm. the state of Utah has put out with the coronavirus thing going on that all non-necessary medical procedures, mm -hmm. including animals, uh, be be put on hold until the 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 tools and the and the PPE and all that can be used for the people on the front line fighting this virus mm -hmm. and so she needs to be spayed before we get her yep. permanently with her in our name yep so, so we're, we're long-term foster parents we do have the pre-adoption paperwork placed all of that will be finalized and legalized once we um, figure out when she can get spayed so and we did we paid for the adoption we've we've filled out the paperwork and we have rescued her from where we've rescued her from nuzzles and co based out of park city utah um we came across them on a website and looked into it and found her and everything just kind of lined up and we really like what they stand for and how they came about so i'll drop their um website information in the description below you can check them out if you are interested in adopting or rescuing any pups or or dogs so. yeah not only that but like mm -hmm. they they've obviously worked with us obviously we live a different lifestyle mm -hmm. than everywhere else but they have worked with us and we've came up with how we can do this and how we can save poor little journey <laughs> who is absolutely Laying on top of the cooler, exhausted. Yeah. She has found her 
favorite little hiding spot. She can see out the windows and check out what's all going on. And she is out cold. Yes. It's been a long day. Um, she's had a lot of crying, a lot of kind of figuring things out. We're trying to figure things out. And actually this morning I kind of like, I did my work that I need to do. And then the afternoon, Tanya kind of did her work that she needs to do. So we've kind of like starting to get a schedule and we're kind of getting learning, a schedule with her. Yeah, learning to take turns and, and find, you know, who needs to do what job um, so the other one can get other things done. Yeah, so I think that's it. That is it. We're going to wrap up day two. Day two. And um, see what unfolds for us tomorrow. Come with us. We'll take you along. Spread love. <laughs>